Let's take a look at a new calibration tool available early summer of 2022 in TPC Desktop 2022 Release 1. So this is a um, project I did a couple years ago, and I needed to have a lighting design done for half of a city block for the parking we were putting in. And um, so I sent the uh, property boundary, the uh, paving edge, I had a, the striping turned on in here, to uh, Hubble Lighting and said, this is what I need for dark sky compliance, minimum lumens, that sort of thing, uh, per the city requirements. Um, and my project is in state plane. So I sent them a CAD file with state plane coordinates. I want to come over here and show you what they sent back to me this particular iteration. In fact, we went through several lighting plans and all of them were the same thing. Uh, they sent me back a file with coordinates zero, zero. So they got my layout. You can see everything is laid out here. The property line, the edge of paving, the striping that I gave them in state plane. And they translated it to zero, zero to work properly, I'm guessing, with their lighting design software. Now, I didn't know if they had rotated it, scaled it, translated it, what all they had done. Um, and uh, the first thing that I did is I said, well, this is going to be interesting. So if I were to insert that as an XREF, which is kind of how we, we do things now, we don't just bring them into the drawing, we just insert them as an XREF, uh, and do a zoom extents, I'm now going to have two dots. This dot is my survey at state plane coordinates. This dot is the Hubble lighting design at zero, zero. Now, I could translate the zero, zero over to my survey. I could also calibrate it over, but I'd have to do some zooming zoom windows, zoom extents, that kind of stuff. And again, remember, I didn't know if they had rotated and scaled it as well. So uh, I could have spent hours on the phone or a couple of days uh, emailing back and forth, but I'm gonna show you what was easier to do. It was easier for me just to calibrate this to my survey. Now, that's great. This happens to be a lighting plan from Hubble Lighting at zero, zero, but how oftentimes do I get plans from an architect at quarter scale, four feet to the inch? Or how often am I working with my survey at uh, state plane uh, projection and I get a CAD file for the project at ground elevation? So now I've got to reconcile grid to ground. So the reconciliation and the calibration can be large as it is in this extent, or it could be pretty small. Uh, sometimes uh, that grid to ground stuff isn't, isn't that big necessarily. but we have to account for it. So let me show you how we do this. I'm going to come up and choose Tools, Calibration, Create Calibration. And this is the option I want right here in the middle. Select Uncalibrated Point Sequence from the CAD view, then select their calibrated positions in the current drawing. OK, so I've opened this file in the CAD view. As soon as I choose OK, Traverse BC says the CAD view is now active. And Traverse BC turns on snapping. Do you see the little yellow there at the cursor? So I'm going to use the property line, and I'm going to come over and select that corner of the property line right there. And it tells me that's point one. Let's get that corner, point two. Let's pan down to the southern end. And calibrations work best if I try to encompass the area I'm working on. So I don't want to have my points right close together necessarily. I want to feel like I'm picking up a reasonable proximity for the, the whole project here. And then the prompt says, right click when I've selected the points. So I'm going to right click and it says, now the drawing view is active. So now I can come over in the drawing view and I can snap to those same corners. And you'll see if I zoomed in, it's labeling those for me. And I'm just snapping to each of the same corners in the same sequence. Now, as soon as I've snapped the fourth point in the drawing view, because there were four points in the CAD view, Traverse BC says, oh, that calibration is done. So here's my calibration results. Here are the four points. I can see that they got included. There are four pairs. My results say this TX and TY, that's my translation. Here's how much I translated it. And then I'm going to just look at the rotation and scale. So they didn't. Hubble didn't rotate and they didn't scale this. So they just did a translation is all. 
Now, I'm going to have you notice that because I uh, started with the CAD file to create this calibration, Traverse PC has referenced that file to the calibration, and that's important. We'll come back and look at that in just a moment. So I'm just going to make some notes here that I'm going from CAD to my coordinate reference system. And this is the uh, crossroads parking. And um, I'm going to call this Hubble Lighting. Okay, let's go ahead and save that. And I saved it earlier, so I'm just going to overwrite that same calibration file, just like that. So now let's do what we did earlier. Let's bring this in as an XREF, and I'm going to turn off or untag that Traverse, the lighting. Uh, so we can see what Traverse PC is going to bring in. Yep, that'll work. Okay, let's do insert XREF. Let's pull in that same file now. Double click it. And look what Traverse PC says. A calibration association was found. Calibrate the XREF with the associated calibration. Yes or no? And it's Hubble lighting. So let's say yes. So Traverse PC is going to bring that XREF in now. And it's going to calibrate everything for me based on that calibration that I just created. Wow. Wow. Remember I said I went through several iterations for lighting with Hubble. I would have had to go through that translate rotate scale each time I got a plan from them, not knowing uh, you know, what coordinates they had put it at. So think of the mess that would have been. Here, it's just easy to say, well, I'm just going to pick the four points in the CAD file, the lighting plan and the same four points in my survey, and it's going to take care of that for me. So now I've got all the lights exactly where they should be um, in my survey without having to do anything more than just calibrate. And um, we could have done this other ways. There are lots of ways to calibrate, but this is new, this ability to take a file right out of the CAD view and match a sequence of points from the CAD view to the drawing view and create the calibration that way.